Crane with the Sagamore Leadership Initiative. And we're really excited to talk today about one of the most important qualities of being a good leader. And that is every good leader must first be a good follower. Now, a long time ago, when I was young, about 13 or 14 years old, I was part of a Boy Scout troop and we were down camping out at one of the Boy Scout uh, campgrounds. And we decided on a Saturday morning to take a big hike all the way around this huge lake that they had. I mean, it was, it felt like miles. And we get out there in the woods and we're hiking and hiking. And before long, late into the afternoon, one of our scout masters comes up to me and says, John, can you show us how to get back home? And I thought it was just joking, but he actually was serious. He wanted input to try to help figure out how we're supposed to get back home. And I realized in that moment that I couldn't. I had been so focused on the trail in front of me and so focused on chit-chatting with my friends and all those kinds of things that I hadn't actually been paying attention to the leaders in front of me. I had not been a good follower. And that's an important lesson for all of us to understand in life, that if we're going to be a good leader, we must first learn to follow. In fact, there are two very important qualities that I think every good leader can learn by being a good follower. The first one is empathy. Now, what is empathy? Empathy is being able to understand where other people are coming from. That takes a lot of effort. It's important for us to kind of get out of our own shoes and get into the shoes of somebody else and say, okay, what is their experience here? It could be a teammate on a, on a ball team. It could be a coworker. It could be a classmate at school. It could be somebody at our church or in our community trying to see the world the way they see it or feel it the way they feel it. The more that we're able to do that, the more we're able to empathize and understand their experience. And every good leader needs to understand the experience of those around them because that's how we can begin to find points of connection where we can begin to influence them in a particular direction. So empathy is really important. The second characteristic I would say is humility. It's important for us to get our egos out of the way. Everybody wants to be a leader. We all like the idea of being a leader. Sometimes we like the title of being a leader, but it's important for us to remember that titles are just tools. In the hands of a good leader, a title can simply expand your sphere of influence so that you can reach that many more people. And it's imperative, it's important that we do not let our ego get in the way of what it means to be a servant leader. Instead, to be humble, to be somebody who is willing to ask questions, to invite input from people around us, to come to someone and say, hey, what do you think about that? Oh, that's a good idea. And to listen and to learn and to apply. And that's what good followers do. So when we're in this stage of life where we're in positions where we can follow some other leader, let's do everything that we can to try to learn how to be the kind of follower that will eventually be a good leader. Because remember, followers are just leaders in training. Now take a few minutes with those around you and work through the questions that go along with this conversation. Hopefully there's some things that have been shared here that you can apply to your own life and leadership. And we'll see you next time.